So we are here today with Rosemary Elsner, an elder here in Nuuk, Kasafleet, Nunat, Greenland. And she very, very kindly and generously agreed to allow us to have another conversation. Our first one was when I was here two years ago. And so we get to spend more time with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you too. too. Thank you so much. How have you been? How's the last two years been? I've been busy. I had thought when you are a pensionist, you have a lot of time, <laughs> but I do not have a lot of time. So. I think it's, some pensionists do, but you yeah. you choose, you're busy. <laughs> yeah, I make books. And, oh yeah, um, what is this book that you said that you made? I uh, make two books, one for women and one for men, mm -hmm. uh, to stimulate dementia people mm. in Greenland mm. uh, with pictures from their uh, uh, from their day they can recognize ah. because we we do not have uh, uh, we have books from all over the world but it is not the Inuit mm. uh, day you know in mm -hmm. their life so I uh, collected a lot of uh, pictures Wow, that must have been so. So they can work. recognize, and I know that the uh, people, when they recognize something, they feel their identity, mm. and they uh, feel more happy, more quality in life, and they speak more. Ah, yeah, wow. because the dementia people, the disease, do something with your. Uh, speaking language, uh, mm. it's closed down, but uh, when they see pictures they can recognize, then they started to wow. speak. Yeah. Where so, did you get all the pictures from? I uh, collect them from private, mm. all over Greenland, because you have to uh, have pictures that, that Ghana people can recognize Mm. East of Greenland, mm. people can recognize South of Greenland, and because our country is so big, mm -hmm. so North of Greenland and South of Greenland, it's two very, very different worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even the language is pretty different. Yes, right? it is very different. Their dialects is very, uh, very uh, different, as you. It is especially east of Greenland. Greenland mm. uh, is very hard to understand. And you got pictures from all, all over. over. Wow, yeah. that yeah. is a real treasure. Yeah. And why did you make it one for men, one for women? Because uh, in old days, women's work and men's work oh. are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, women recognize kitchen. Oh, uh, wow. flowers and the children and yeah. making food in the mount uh, with the sea making a uh, yeah. uh, lot of things but men are hunting yeah yeah and they recognize old boats That's fishing cool. hunting mm -hmm. whales and and such things and didn't you say you've been invited aren't you presenting at some yes in to ilulisa ah yeah, in February. That's going to be, is that the official yeah. like launch? That's when you're... Uh, it isn't official yet, mm -hmm. but uh, I give the books to the communities mm -hmm. and I have been in the social department and give the books and so they help me a lot. Yeah. Because they are just, uh, receiving the books, it has 1400 books Ooh. and they are uh, send them out. I couldn't do that. I couldn't have fourteen thousand books <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, one thousand four hundred yeah. books. I can't have them here in my little. And you're not. Room. You're not charging. You said for it. No, never. I have my pension. It's yeah. fine for me. Will you share with people how you got your funding? Yes, <laughs> I got the uh, tips and lotto. <laughs> you know, uh, play. Uh, they could give me two hundred thousand kroner, and then I got from a Danish 
fund uh, 35,000 kroner. Wow. Yeah. It sounds like really important, important work. It's for dementia, but these pictures are also like a historical record to have them yeah. now all together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And I met your meditation group this time. Yeah. And I didn't realize that you've been holding this. How many years have you been holding this meditation? A lot group? of years. A lot of years. Fifteen years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It, it was a real honor to come be uh, with these women. They were all women. Powerful. Women. Powerful. And the collective energy of you all meditating together. I feel like you could feel it like pulsating out throughout Nuke, really. Yeah, yeah. we go uh, out and yeah. help Nuke, help Greenland and universe. Yeah. yeah. Go down to Mother Earth. And, yeah. yeah. I felt it is a special group. Yeah. Um, and we have always visitors. Ah. Yeah. You know, I work with archangels and angels. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know who will visit me us mm -hmm. uh, uh, this Wednesday but uh, they will show up yeah and the last two times it was very special because it was from my mother another dimension mm -hmm. the feminine energy mm -hmm. goes to the third eye wow. and the heart wow. to open up yeah, these yeah. are special visitors. Yeah, and they came. To, it's twice uh, last Wednesday and the Wednesday before wow. the same. Wow! Yeah. I, I didn't know that. And it that. is a whole lot of people. Yeah. They are very high, over two meters, and skinny, mm -hmm. and have. They are very very yeah. bright. I feel them and it feel yeah. as you're talking it feels to me like it's only because you as a collective have all done so much work on your hearts and your vibration like you all are in a different realm when you meditate together it feels like mm -hmm. because I, mean, I don't know if I'm right but it almost feels like it's only because all of the work that you all have done to elevate yourself so and bring yourself to such a vibration that then they can meet you yeah i think uh, i think i what do you call it uh, we talked about it last wednesday mm -hmm. and i told them it is because our hearts mm -hmm. uh, is going yeah. up and uh, so we can have visitors yeah that's from archangels or from another dimension and uh, it is uh, very yeah you know it is i am very honored yeah yeah and they are honored too yeah and they uh, we bow for them and they bow for us oh. and you know it's uh, it is that is, it has to be. Yeah. 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 It's, um, yeah, I think I introduced you as an elder. I don't really know how else to introduce you because you're also like an intergalactic being. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, I wouldn't even know how to begin to yeah. introduce you. But um, for those of you that have not seen the other video with us, uh, we met because we're in the same business, let's <laughs> see. Yeah. <laughs> um, and... Uh, you met my first cousin. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And she asked me what I did, and I said I... Um, I said what I do, and she said, I think you need to meet my cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we met, and I remember... She opened the door, and you came around the corner, and my eyes just became as big as owl's eyes at night because i saw your spirit yeah, yeah. and it was like bigger it was bigger than the physical space and you're just not quite human <laughs> as i experienced you and i just wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting that um and then and then i wanted to be in your company for as long as possible <laughs> after that so now yeah. I came back to Nuke and I immediately... Oh, you picked me up from the airport. Yes, so nice to have you here Thank again. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. 
every time I can spend with you is special and you're so kind to me because while I'm here every time I leave I'm like so when are we hanging out again <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you for letting me just yeah. push myself in and yeah you are so welcome <sighs> so the interview that we had conversation we had last time I had so many people like talk to me about it after and say just that they they recognized in hearing from you how few people they have in their life that are like true elders and and hold wisdom um and in a way that can be heard and you're so generous and I know that what you said but also just the way the energy that you carry had a big impact on many people um and I did ask some people on my Patreon group, uh, what questions they might have for you. And I got lots of questions in. And so should we just start with the questions? Okay. So in the last conversation, we talked a little, I, I remember we talked about fear. Fear came up and you and I were both saying, we're just not scared. We just don't really experience would, like you were saying that if you walk through like a dark park at night in Copenhagen, you're just not scared because you know that you're protected and safe. And that really seemed to connect with a lot of people and they wanted to hear how did you get to that point from, you shared a story of when you were working as a, do you remember that story? Yes, I remember. Were you working as a nurse or an aide? Yes, uh, I have you were young. Uh, working with with uh, older people, a mm. uh, big part of my yeah. life in elders home and uh, and uh, I have been scared and have a lot of fear mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. but uh, then I met an Indian man mm. and he he uh, opened me I don't know how to say it but he pushed me up and I <laughs> I uh, go out of my jail, you know, uh -huh. it is a sort of, uh, if you are always in fear and uh, always scared, you can't live your life properly. Yeah. You, there is, uh, you, you, uh, your life quality, it's too low. Mm. Then I meet my Indian <laughs> and he, uh, uh, I don't know how, what he, it did, but he looked through me and uh, opened me up. And uh, I remember he asked us all the, it was a curse, uh, and he asked uh, us to go to our heart and and uh, listen. Be very, very silent and listen and listen. And nothing was happened. And I knocked at the heart. Hello, mm -hmm. is there anybody there? And there was nothing. Mm -hmm. And I was so sad mm -hmm. because why is there anything in my heart? Mm -hmm. And then, then I look, <laughs> then I look inside me and a big galaxy ah. open in my in inner. Mm -hmm. And I get sucked into the hole uh -huh. and up in the sky uh -huh. and meet a lot of people glowing. Mm -hmm. And I think, oh my God, I'm in heaven. So I threw myself on the floor. I don't know if it was a floor, but I lie like that and they uh, took me up. No, no, you don't have to lie uh -huh. that, like uh -huh. that. And, and um, asked me, Ella told me what I am going to do in in uh, my country where I uh. was set. Yeah. They put me there as an anchor point. Mm. Yeah. And uh, and uh, after that after I have been up there <laughs> I lose all the fear. Hmm. I I know I am so protected. We are all so protected. Mm -hmm. It's not only me, mm -hmm. but we have 
around our spirits, we have angels, they all always help mm. if we ask for it. How do we ask? You don't have to kneel on your knees and uh, no, no, you can ask, please angel, please spirit, help me. Mm. I need help too. Mm -hmm. and I always get help and I don't even something sometimes I don't have to ask for help if I'm going to fall down the steps mm -hmm. and going uh, ah, yeah. then I got a big push oh. and landed up Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and Dubana my daughter she told she always uh, she asked who what's happened <laughs> Oh, of course, it's Mars Angels. Yeah. <laughs> so, I always, yeah. I always tell people. Um, well, my experience is some people have more protection than others, just because our some of us our ancestors have lost their way, and but then some people have very strong ancestors, and I don't work with ancestors that much. I more work mm. with the kinds of spirits that you work with. Yeah. And my experience is when you ask for help, they come and then as long as you want them there, they're there. So sometimes I meet people and they say, well, I don't feel any spirits around me. And I say, well, now you do because we've met. And I, the only value of me moving through all these lands is so now I can pass this on to you. So yeah. Sometimes the help mm -hmm. is coming in another way that they they uh, was asked for. Yeah. yeah. So it's not always uh, please helping me getting uh, better to uh, raise my children or what do mm. you ask for. And then uh, uh, it, it will come in another way. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's possible just by people meeting you in this way that some of your beings that are around you would help them? Uh, I have uh, used it many, many times. Mm. Uh, ask uh, if people want help. Mm -hmm. I ask mm -hmm. uh, if they could join me mm -hmm. and help the mm -hmm. healing and mm -hmm. such things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I. Uh, it's not very often I do it alone mm -hmm. because it, it is not me healing. It's it's yeah. uh, the universe heal through me. Yeah. And uh, I know I am very powerful, but it is uh, the the spirits or the yeah. universe who used me very powerful. <laughs> <They do. laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's uh, <laughs> you need to be this powerful to be able to hold this <clears throat> vibration to be the way for these very very high beings to come through. Yeah. You have such high yeah. beings with you. I think p other. People, um, people benefit from knowing you, <laughs> and you are an anchor. You are an anchor, and uh, and I was told so. It's I just it's a, such a nice way to describe mm. you. Oh, what was I going to ask you? Ah, this Indian man. How long ago was that? Uh, two thousand seven. Mm. Maybe six. Six. Two thousand and six. Was it? In, he was physical. Physically in the yes. same place. Oh. So phys physical. He he was. He is. I don't think it's. Uh, he's maybe ninety years old. Oh. Now. Yeah. But he came to Germany and to the in to Denmark too. Mm. And uh, I need. I was in wrong way. I could feel something was very wrong. Mm. I didn't use the way I am born to. So I took to Denmark for one year mm. and uh, try to uh, find people who could help me. Mm. And uh, 14 days after, two weeks after, uh, the Indian man, ah, okay. he never, he never uh, write in papers, mm -hmm. now I'm coming. Uh -huh. No, oh. he's always told us we will find him mm -hmm. when time is. Mm -hmm. And I found him mm -hmm. because the time was too. Would it be right to say that you had 
asks the universe for help and that might be part of why he came into your life yes it, it, uh, i asked for help yeah. and there is so many uh, different people in denmark uh, some of them are really good mm -hmm. but a lot of them are underlying yeah, pay some. me uh, yeah. pay me pay me and I get nothing out of yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I think unfortunately so, yeah. it's true of shamans yeah. in Mongolia and I've seen it in the US and yeah. in Denmark as well that. Uh, they are all over. They're all over. Yeah. The good ones yeah. and the ones taking advantage. Yeah. They are too greed. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you have to watch out. Yeah, because they do not get good karma. Yeah. After that. Yeah. They will follow and they will lose all of their stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's very bad for them. Yeah. To be so greedy. And yeah. I think it's uh, uh, the the world are uh, in the Western world. Yeah. Are uh, very very greedy. It's the illness. And you can West. put the bank up in the yeah. in the highest. Yeah, but uh, they will feel when it will come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I do think, unfortunately, we uh, we need to. We can't just trust what people say. It's a shame to say, but when it comes to looking for healers and help, we gotta check in and check in with your gut and your intuition. And sometimes if. Yeah. I feel like for me, if someone says, I can heal you, like I can fix you, mm -hmm. that's often a, a red flag for me because mm -hmm. I don't heal anyone. You don't heal anyone. When we say we're doing a healing, we're really, for me, the energy is moving through us. Yeah. And if they yeah. are ready, then they are doing the work on themselves. But it's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, a big difference. Yeah. They forgot. They forgot that. Yeah. You can't heal yourself. You have to. Uh, your body has to be used mm. from the universe and then heal there from there. Well, tell me about that, because I I say I can't heal you. You can only heal yourself. So in that, I am saying you heal yourself, but you're saying we don't heal ourselves. No. Who? What is healing? <laughs> What's happening? Yes, healing is to to uh, get myself or others uh, to make a clearer way mm -hmm. or uh, make life easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, sometimes uh, they feel a lot of warmth. Uh -huh. in their in their body and uh, feel that they get get clearer mind yeah uh, but uh, I don't tell people that I can heal your diseases and no 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 it's it's not the way yeah I heal uh, mm. the, the universe uh, and the the one who has disease they must uh, must uh, speak together i can't go in there and, yeah. yeah so maybe i just need to be more careful about what i'm saying because when i say i can't heal you only you can heal yourself i'm not saying so therefore you're alone <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what i mean i i probably should be more precise because what i mean is these energies come i can help bring connect you with that but yeah. there is something outside of yeah. you helping you heal and doing yeah. the healing on you yeah yeah I, I, I think i should change the way i talk about it i feel very much when it is very very necessary i i, I was taking care of an uh, not old lady she was 52 years old mm. she had very very uh, heart diseases with demence dementia mm -hmm. And she was so scared and she was screaming and my heart nearly broken. Oh, it was so, so awful. Mm. So I asked the universe, please 
let us help her, help her through me. Yeah. And one second after, my whole breast goes up and I so big a uh, uh, energy uh -huh. go to the oh wow the the one wow and she was quiet smile a little and you know like she was a bit confused yeah what's happened mm. and uh, I have tried uh, another times uh, when I didn't know I could heal many many years ago and uh, I was angry because my friend was so ill. So if I can heal, okay, so help me. And I put, I put my hands on her head and my whole corner uh -huh. uh, broke oh. in two half oh. and big, big, big energy out of, not to me, but out of my yeah. hands and up. Through me oh. to both my hands and within my hands. Wow. Yeah. But it is only when it's very, very necessary. Yeah. Yeah. I um, recently was hit by a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About two, maybe a little less than two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, God. And um, it was not a car. It was a huge SUV. Uh, <laughs> such a big car. And you and I have very different experiences with our spirits and we don't have to get into it, but I'm very clear that it was actually my spirit doing this for me. I call it a curated experience of fear um, because I was at the end safe and scary things happen in the world and we're not always safe, but in this, it was a complete teaching that I'm still going through. But one of the biggest teachings for me was um, what was actually... You know, I think a lot of people see me traveling all over the world and they think they tell me you're so brave, you're so independent. And I feel like this is um, the outcome of having been raised in a culture that fetishizes independence. Like I was raised in a culture where hyper independence was considered maturity. And it's actually a sign of how out of balance I am. I shouldn't be so comfortable being independent. And I, it does come in handy in my life. But on the other side is I'm very, very bad at asking for help. And I also always, it's not just asking for help. I'm bad at it because I don't believe anyone is there for me. And I think one of the reasons my spirit had me balked by this big thing is I, I had to ask for help. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't walk. I couldn't leave the apartment. I needed to have someone help watch the dog. I, I, uh, I couldn't get food. And your meditation group, the women in this group, um, it's so many of them reached out, checked in with me, brought me delicious food, checked in on me again, really kind and generous, um, women. And I think for me, that was, I don't want to say it was worth getting hit by the vehicle. <laughs> and I know that we disagree on the methods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I never would have known that I, I just can tell myself that I'm like a traveling showman. I come in and I do a healing, uh, you know, hold a healing group and I leave. That was profoundly healing for me to have Lena bring me her leftovers and I could eat them for three nights and you brought the soup and um so that was that was very remarkable but the other thing is you did a remote healing session on me especially my shoulder got pretty banged up and um you you messaged me and you said okay I'm, I'm about to do the healing and I was lying in the bed and I'm with this dog that I'm watching and it was uh I'll save I'll, I'll keep the details of what I saw and experienced mostly with me. But about five or eight minutes in, I could feel the energy and I was having visitors doing a lot of work on me. And then one visitor came and my energy shifted. I just became like light kind of. 
and the dog, this dog is not very energetically sensitive, you know, because I'm doing all kinds of weird things in there and mm -hmm. the dog doesn't notice at all. As instant, the instant that that being came in and shifted my energy field, this dog popped up. It was, had been sleeping next to me, <laughs> jumped up like someone had knocked on the door, came, it's never done this before or since, came this close to my face, okay. made eye contact with me and was just, like looking, like looking back and forth in my eye. It was, a, it was strange because it was almost like a human expression on the dog, just looking and the tail was wagging like this. Um, I thought, wow, like I don't know what is in me right now, but even sweet BB is looking at me like I'm a different, I think she literally was experiencing me as a different being. That's how powerful that healing was that you did for me. And then the being did what I wanted to do and then it left and then BB, Fell back asleep. <laughs> it, it they always stopped. Elsa, I know mm -hmm. when it's finished because mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there is no more. Yeah, there's a time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that that gave me like a new opportunity to work with fear, and so I was I I, I um have been visiting that topic in myself, but I think that's why I want to be really careful when I say, yes, it was a very big experience, scary experience. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think the scariest, the most scared I've ever been, but it was done in a strange way, I would say in a container of safety. And, um, there are other scary things that happen to people and one of the questions i had was in working with fear and working with trauma um it's one thing to be working on like the fear response and the trauma within yourself and healing but someone was asking uh, or they were saying but i i find that my obstacle is the anger the anger that i have that it happened I'm not sure if the anger was that it happened, but I think it probably was also an anger at the people who did it. And they wanted to know, what's your advice about when when bad people, I don't believe in bad people, but when, when people do bad things, especially when you're young, um, how, do, what, how do we deal with that anger that comes up? We always meet things that make us grow. Mm. We will never meet things like that uh, just for uh, being angry. You have to learn to forgive. If you don't forgive what's happened and uh, uh, look at the, the person who show you something, it, it has been bad, yes, but she like, show you something. Mm. So you have to say thank you, I understand, and I. you have to forgive yourself and forgive the, the, the other one. Because you have to forgive yourself because you are getting angry on a person who made things to you mm -hmm. so you can grow. What about something that, like, is difficult to work with is like sexual abuse as a child how yeah. does how does how do you work with that uh, i'm sorry to say but you still have to forgive mm. because you can't get further mm. your your life will be spoiled if you don't forgive mm. i have been in a curse in roskilde in denmark and there was a woman, uh, 42 years old, and uh, she told me, uh, the group, that there is a bad man uh, 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 kicking, uh, looking inside to two children. Mm. And uh, I should be the bad man, and I uh, go out and, and uh, look inside. But the group, uh, the teachers ask the girl, is he, is he dangerous? They say no. Mm. Okay. Then I have to be the father. And then things was changed. 
because when I was the father, as so we are visualizing in the group, the father uh, being the bad man. Yes, um, he has abused uh, his daughter, and I knew it, uh, and I do like that to the little girl. I saw the little girl. And I was the father, mm. and I think sometimes you know, universe was playing with the Elsa, yeah, with because I couldn't see the the big woman, forty for two, forty three years old. I saw the little one, and uh, I do like that. Forgive me, I have done that to you. She was so so angry. She screamed all her rubs out of his, uh, of her mouth, and mm -hmm. I was standing there. And then the teachers told her to go down to the floor and kisses, kiss the father's oh. feet. And I think, oh my God, I hope they are doing the right things. Yeah. But before you came to earth, mm -hmm. you are choosing your parents. What I know it, it looks awful because nothing can, can so bad things shouldn't be yeah. to be not a child. Yeah. But we, she should learn something. Mm. And the, she asked the parents to do that mm. uh, before they go to earth. Mm -hmm. And it seems very, very... <sighs> yeah. But uh, it's the way. When she kissed his father's uh, feet, mm -hmm. uh, she stand up and then she sing wow. from her heart. Not with words, mm -hmm. but a uh, heart song. Wow. And we were all healed. Wow. Yeah. And she was healed too. She walked away from the group when we were finished and got her life back. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, it sounds very, very strange. And I. Yeah. As I saw it the first time, and I know a lot of people will be very, very angry uh, on me yeah. because I'm saying that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's almost hard for me to hear. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it was the same for me. Mm. But uh, you have to trust. It is to trust things are that they should be. So can we trust my spirit guide when he hits me with a car? <laughs> I, he is a spirit guide. Yeah. This one is a human being. I see yeah. what you're saying. Well, we can yeah. leave that aside. We have a different opinion. I think opinion. we have to, yeah, yeah. I want to check and make sure it's recording. Yeah, okay. I just want to tease you a little bit because I, I know what he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still going. Yeah, I think that is, um, it is difficult for me to hear, but I, I want to sit with it because I hear, I hear something in there for me to be working with too. And so for mm. you, when you have someone that's asking a question about anger, how do you deal with anger? The, the seed of the answer is forgiveness. Yeah. And so you, you have to understand the human mentality. Mm. Why are we being angry? What is it that makes us angry? Mm. What do we recognize in other people to make us so angry? Yeah. yeah. And uh, you have to look at it in that way. Why is I why is I angry? Mm -hmm. Uh, when you found out, okay, maybe the anger is against myself, against myself. Mm. It is often to yourself. Mm. Because you can't recognize it in other people. 
if you don't have it yourself. Ah. Yeah. And uh, you have to forgive. Yeah. You can't get further in your life uh, if you can't forgive. Mm. And uh, you have to feel the forgiveness because you can say, okay, I forgive you. Bye. No hard mi uh, yeah. mindset. No, yeah. no. It, it's not just the words. No. You have to feel here the compassion yeah. to the other one yeah. and tell her with your inner inner uh, voice, mm. I forgive you. I can see you have it very, very bad. Yeah. More bad than me. Yeah. I forgive you. We are both forgiven. I forgive myself too. And then... 600 kilo of yeah. going away yeah. from yeah. I have I have this experience uh, in a different way but having to do some very deep forgiveness work with someone who was a primary person in my childhood and I was stuck in anger for a really long time of uh, and I realized um, I don't know how else to say this, but there was some immaturity in the anger because it was expecting the other person to have been able to be any different. And um, I had to, I had to get out of myself and my story and I had to be able to put myself in this other person's perspective and I had, and I didn't want to. I was really, because it, it, it happened to me when I was a little girl, so I find that it was my little girl mind, and I wanted someone to, like, it just brought me back to little girl thinking, like, but what about me? But who was taking care of me? And I had to be the the mature Francis and say, but, but what you know now, think about this other person. They, we know that they've been through hard things in their life, we know from like a like I can talk to myself from a cultural standpoint. I can talk to myself of how the ancestors raised this person. That's who they were, and they couldn't be any different. They couldn't. They didn't know how to love the right way. Um, and it was only by allowing myself. And I so resisted for so long. And as soon as I could put myself in that space of compassion for them the forgiveness came spontaneously like I could have said to myself you have to forgive you have to forgive the forgiveness wasn't going to happen that way it was I think what you're saying it was going I was so resistant because I felt like but but I'm on my side I'm not on their side and I had to just pull myself up to a to a different way of thinking about it and when it happened when it truly happened it's like I had been working on this for years and years and years and years chipping, chipping, chipping away. It just no progress. Um, and that happened. I remember it was, it was just taking a nap in Mongolia. It wasn't a really special day. It was no big ceremony, but all I had, I think that you and I work a lot on our hearts. And I think a lot of it was all of the time that I've been putting in my heart before it just everything, all the causes and conditions are right that day. And I, I know I had some spirits helping me. And I thought about it again, and I thought, how sad that they didn't know how to love a child. You know, something that should be so easy. Yeah. And it, and then I heard a voice say, but you were taken care of because Mama Earth loves you. You know, we all are, we all have the beings around us. So why are you so fixated on this one person when there's the universal as well and it just it's what you said something clicked not here but here and it felt like it felt like 500 pounds just yeah gone yeah and it yeah. It, it it never went back i never went back to the anger oh. i still the person's still in my life and i get frustrated yeah. with them i don't yeah. want the relationship didn't change because they didn't change but i no longer need something from them. I don't need them. I think before I really wanted them to acknowledge that they had done this. Mm. I don't need that anymore. No. 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 It's the right way to do it. It's the only way yeah. to do it.
Yeah. It's hard though. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. You have to work with your... And there's more work for me to do though, because could I kiss her feet? You know. So I think if if I'm going and I I I put your what you say above what I say, I'm not ready to kiss her feet yet. So I think there might be something more there for me. Yeah. I I think the the kisses feet feet and I kiss the feet, mm -hmm. he was a father. Yeah. You respect your father yeah. and your mother. That is a lot of respect in this. I have more work to do. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that I have more work to do. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Because we choose our father, our father. Yeah, our mother I know I do. Before you go to earth. I know I do. And we are telling each other, I asked my father to do that. I asked my mother to do that. Yeah. And, I, and this person in my life gave me my hyper independence which gave me the ability to meet you, you know? So it's, there are a lot of gifts there too. Hmm. Oh, so one of the, hmm. is there anything more to say about that for you? Uh, uh, no, uh, and, and yes, because uh, uh, to forgive, to forgive another person means you have a lot of love for people. For mm. human beings mm. because it's very difficult to forgive if you do not have an open heart and I didn't think about that yeah. they go hand in hand yeah they do well that brings me to the next question and I don't know what you're gonna say but I kind of know what you're gonna say <laughs> of all I mean you're constantly uh, sitting with people and talking with people and um, if you could take all the different ways that you talk and bring it down into just like a sh one message one teaching like a heart teaching what is it I say heart teaching I think I learned that from someone else sort of like the message of your life that you wish everyone could have what would your heart teaching be that is only one thing yeah. and that is nothing else that love hmm. yeah love we are people loving people mm -hmm. we come from the universe with big love in our hearts but uh, lives uh, do things with us so we shut down mm. our hearts and uh, we have to find uh, our hearts in life mm. uh, there is no no only yeah love that's beautiful yeah do you think it's possible the most like there's someone on earth that was born just with like not made of love on the inside like what am i trying to ask i i see people i mean i know what your answer is but i'm just trying to make work have a different way to talk about it the way i see people is um we are all made of love and someone may never know that about themselves in one lifetime and they may do they may be doing horrible things their whole life and die before karma catches up but i still believe that that person is made of love you still have the the light yeah very deep down sometimes very very deep down yes and yeah. and he chose a life in very bad mm -hmm. maybe he is burning karma mm -hmm. or he is having bad karma yeah. we don't know yeah. Yeah. but uh, uh, I was working for many years with elder people one day a man not very old but uh, came to uh, uh, be in the a nursing home. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of uh, uh, scars mm -hmm. because he had he he has drank a lot in his life. He was seaman, and uh, he was going to bed drunk with a cigarette, oh. and it uh, put fire on his bed, and he got very very mm -hmm. vents, vents, uh, very Bur bad, bad burns. Yeah. yeah, he came to the nursing home and. 
vi er connected. Uh, just as I saw him, yeah. and he saw me. So he ne we never speak together. Mm. He was sitting outside my office and looked like that. Uh -huh. And I making my things and <laughs> looked at him. One day he was crying. It was Sunday. He was crying. I have never seen him cry. Mm. And he uh, have no cigarettes. Uh. And I know I have been a smoker for many years. Oh. And oh my God. If you don't have any cigarettes, mm -hmm. you could kill for mm -hmm. a cigarette. Mm -hmm. So I uh, uh, go to the office and took a, uh, a pack of cigarettes and gave him and it's, he was so happy. He was seen as a no person, mm -hmm. a loser, and you can kick him, you can shout at him, and oh. they were so rude. Oh. Uh, to him. Yeah. And then half a year after he came to the nursing home, I went up where he was. It was a lot of people. I asked the nurse, is there anything I should know? Because I have, uh, 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 they can call me if something mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. Then she told me that he is dead. Oh. He died uh, three oh. hours ago. <gasps> And I uh, was, whoa, okay. And I go down to his room mm -hmm. and I told the nurse that I uh, I have to be a good journey. I go to his room and I always knocked. I know uh, that he is dead, but I always mm -hmm. knock before mm -hmm. I go in. And when I go into this room, little room, uh, there was light all over the room, light going like that. Oh, that's so beautiful. <coughs> I knew it was his spirit. Yeah. Big, big, big spirits. And I go to him and uh, took his uh, and kiss him in honor and wish her a good journey. Yeah. And then all the lights surround me oh. and give me Love you can't feel in earth. Yeah. It is universal yeah. love. We, we have it, but it is very difficult to find sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And then he wow. was gone. Wow. So he was waiting for me. Oh, he, he of course. Know that I will of course, uh, yeah. come and say uh, goodbye to him. Wow. Yeah. And I think he was big, big spirit. Yeah. And they have. Uh, uh, shout at him and oh, yeah. look at him like rubbish and oh wow Ooh, uh, yeah uh, you shall not uh, no. do such things to other people who, if, if they are big low it doesn't matter they yeah. are big spirits yeah. a lot of them they have to, he have chosen a hard life yeah maybe to burn karma I don't know mm. but uh, you are not allowed to yeah to do such things to uh, to one. this man yeah. yeah that brings me to um one of the last questions people had uh there's just so much suffering and a lot of the suffering that we all go through is loss um and i think there's little guidance that we're given about how to deal with grief do you have any, how do you, how do you think people can work with that really, like losing a child, like that profound grief that just feels unbearable? Uh, uh, they have to feel grief mm -hmm. in their lives because it is one of the learnings for their life. Mm -hmm. I uh, have lost three kids mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't know that. Yo, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know why I should have three kids. Uh, yeah. The final is number four. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. So it is. Wow. Uh, uh, it. 
How did how did you have it not just completely eat you up? How did you, how did you go on? Because uh, it is a part of my life. I would never be here if I don't have meat. Uh, bad bad things. Mm -hmm. I was in in grief. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for long time, and then I can feel in my body it is not healthy for me. Yeah. To to have this grief, uh, so I have to let it go, mm. and I. Let it go in a very, very strange way. It was the same place for this woman and his father and kiss his feet. Mm -hmm. and, and then it was my turn. Oh. I should tell what where, is where your was problem this? in uh, Denmark. Oh, okay. And uh, 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 you should, Ella, if you have a problem, you should. Uh, set the problem there. Yeah. I can't say it in, in uh, what my problem was, but it it was very heavy and a dead uh, newborn dead mm. uh, boy. And uh, I was so angry at my friend and uh, angry. Uh, why couldn't I take care yeah. of the little one? And uh, it gave me a lot of uh, Bad, bad uh, to my mm. whole body. I'm so sorry. Then I, uh, uh, the teachers, I, I am smiling because it was so fantastic. Ten years after, I was on that uh, course uh, with the, the, the heart songs and that. And the teachers, one of them, 180 centimeters was my little boy. And the other uh, teacher, little, little lady, he was my husband. Uh -huh. And I couldn't see the teachers. I could only see the little boy and this wow. father. Yeah. And it's, it's why I said, I think the universe are playing yeah. with us so all the, the, so we could only see that. But the little boy, he was jumping and tell me, mother, I should, I am going to do other things oh. now, but you are keeping me. Oh my God! I can't, I can't go out oh. doing things what I want. And I kneel for and Took it. I didn't know it was a teacher's leg. I took. I oh. thought it was my little boy. Oh. And thank him for showing me yeah, wow. that I can't have the grief so long time. Yeah. Of course, we are allowed to grieve, mm -hmm. but not so long time mm. because they they can't get further. Yeah. Uh, this this. Uh, goes yeah. uh, sometimes a, generation, a lot of generations, yeah. uh, so you have to let go. So I kissed the little boy and uh, said goodbye to him and thank you for having <gasps> been in my... Uh, in my uh, like in your body. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And then I look on my husband, I was so angry. He told me how he feel. Mm. And then he told me that I saw myself. You are not the only one who grieve. He grieved too. But sometimes we are so ego. Yeah. yeah. So we only we, we think that we are the only one yeah. in the world who had so big a grief to lose uh, yeah. babies. So um, when he told me how he was feeling, it was uh, it was forgiveness in big, big, 
Wow. Uh, yeah, and we are best friends. Oh my now. goodness. Yeah. yeah, and we have a very, very a good connection, or what mm -hmm. do you call it? A, not every day seeing because it's living in another place, but mm -hmm. in, in yeah. uh, our spirits. Wow. Uh, yeah. I'm still, I'm really sorry I had to go through that. Oh no, you, you don't lost. have to, because it was things I should, uh, uh, I should try mm. to become what I am. Yeah. yeah. You can't get uh, uh, energy, a lot of energy and uh, 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 life without meeting very hard things. You have to to uh, have it in your body because when you have tried these things, I have tried a lot of things. <laughs> you know yeah. how other people, yeah, how other people are feeling. You can help them better. Yeah, I know how they feel, and I can help them because your... I have feel the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. having your heart. Break is really part of it. Yeah, opening. It is. Yeah. 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 Uh, <sighs> I don't think I have met very high spirits who haven't yeah. gone through very, very uh, tough times. Okay, but then I think it makes sense why my spirit would have me be hit by a car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Can you can you kind yeah. of see it? No, my... I can't. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I hear, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, because it is spirits. I am talking about <laughs> fish again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all of this. I always learn listening to you, even in just casual conversation, and to be able to share. You can use you. what you feel. Mm. All right, and pull away what you don't feel from. Mm. Yeah. And uh, uh, people who look at YouTube and hear this, they can take what they they uh, think are okay and then put the other things away because so time is not now. Yeah. But maybe when they uh, grow further, uh -huh. they will begin to see, oh yeah. So what would I, I just feel like a question is coming in before we go, which is for those people that just feel so stuck, you know, when you get so stuck in the story and I think, um, it becomes like a cage and it becomes your whole reality. What would you suggest for people that just hear what you're saying, but they just can't, they just are so stuck. They don't feel like they can get out of where they are. Everything is in our heads. Mm. If they will stand in their heads, you can't get out of it. Mm. You have to go down to your heart and stay there. You and I yeah. say the same thing. Yeah. 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 It, it's the only way. I know it is hard uh, to, uh, to, you just go down to the heart, you, you know, it's, I know. I, it's not so easy. I know not, that. It's not, but it also is. It's it just, is the way. I, the I, only way. I say so often, yeah. this is only good for like GPS and map. Yeah. Yeah. But it, if we believe our thoughts, we will be in misery. Yes. Yeah. And and I think that so many people that were raised in the culture is similar to mine. We were raised. We don't realize that we're trapped in our head because we were raised mm. in our head. It feels yeah. so real. Yeah. And there's like, there just has to be a leap of faith coming down into here. But when you sit, um, I, I guide people to like start sometimes even by just physically putting their hands on their heart and feel that point. And when you sit, I think you really can very quickly, even if it's for a moment, very quickly feel like, ah, oh, it feels very different when I'm resting here. It's way more spacious, it, but it's so scary. It's so scary yeah. to go in there when we haven't been in there for a while. Yeah, yeah. it is. And it grief is. can be waiting and fear yeah. can be waiting. And I, yeah. I, I, I feel like I um, carry the same 
message and it's just everything I say, I laugh with people and I say, ah, if you really listen to what I'm saying, I'm only telling you to just get out of your head and sit in your heart. Yeah. It's all different ways. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is. It's people the only way. It's so good. Yeah. 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 Well, I also feel your beings around us, so I just want to say thank you to them as well. <laughs> yeah, I feel them too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, every time I'm able to spend time with you, I know is a rare and precious gift, and I'm grateful to all of the all of the hard stuff that allows for moments like this. And I do want to acknowledge English is not your first language. And I'm asking you to talk about the biggest things in the language that isn't the first language for you. And when I asked you, I feel like you, it was an automatic yes, and you automatically didn't want to do it, but you just were like, well, I know it's for the benefit of others. You know? <laughs> so there was no hesitation, but even if it was there and you're just so generous. Um, so thank you so much. And I really, really appreciate it. The, the most important is that people can understand mm. my English. Your English is very understandable yeah. and the energy and your presence behind it. Um, everything that you said is so understandable, but you're communicating on so many levels. I think I could give you like a cookbook and you just read the recipes <laughs> and many of us would get the same, the same message, the same transmission as what you said. So. Thank you. I really am just profoundly grateful. And sh can we just note that it is Christmas time? Yes. And that's and didn't you make these? Yeah, yeah, I made these and these big ones over there. That's and, so cool. Uh, I, I'm small ones too, and uh, but they are people are buying. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, and I love all the little. Oh yeah, it's yeah. my. It's so nice. It's just a beautiful time of year here. So. Yeah. It's uh, December, it's my, the good month for me. And your birthday. And my birthday It's a big birthday, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you. And thank, yeah, so thank you for also doing <laughs> all of the decorations. All those, so. yeah. It's, uh, I still need my, my, you know, the four Sundays with the candle. This was new to me. In yeah. fact, you're the first person that told me about yeah. it. I what is it? <laughs> so it's the four Sundays before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. And the four, like when there's four Sundays, you light one? Yeah, the first Sunday before Christmas, mm -hmm. that is four, mm -hmm. you, you uh, put fire on a candle. Mm -hmm. And second, you have two. Ah, and okay. three and last uh, then the fourth the you have all four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't so raised with this. Have uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the four in the Christmas evening we mm -hmm. have all of it's the really four. It's really beautiful. Yeah. And to see all the stars in the windows. I had seen it on Facebook, but to yeah. be here in December and see oh it's just a really special yeah, time to be so here. Nice. Very cozy. Yeah. 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 So nice. Yeah. Whole whole town yeah. is orange, red, yeah. And, yeah. yeah, because of all the stars. Yeah, yeah, it's really warm and cozy. Even on the bus, the, yeah. the city bus now has one. Yeah. 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 It's nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's very important for us with star. It's a Bethlehem star. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you put it on oh. the first Advent, mm -hmm. first first Sunday mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. uh, before uh, Christmas. It's really special. It's really yeah. special. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Uh, what do? How do you say it? You can say however you want. Yeah. Oh, I can say in a very bad way. Guenak. Yeah. Guenak. Yeah. Wanna talk Guenak? Yeah. It's a. Uh, I hope it's okay. Oh, everything you do is perfect. 